what's that? You want to try your hand at breeding, but you don't want to put a lot of thought into it? I have never felt more qualified to speak on a subject in my life. I wanted to find a way to get every flower with minimum effort, minimum thought, and minimum time. All the guides I've seen so far go into gross detail, take multiple in-game years, and try to teach you every aspect of flower breeding. Here is a simple farm layout to give you every flower in the game. Over here you plant rose, lily, tulip, rose. Just water the new plants as they pop up, and when the plot is all filled up, harvest or move all the plants except for the original diagonal. I personally move my plants to my permanent double rainbow storage. That plot will get you the 16 normal colored normal flowers. Over here plant zinnia, trillium, hyacinth, zinnia. Make sure you go in the same diagonal line that you uh, did with the first plot. My first time I made the mistake of going in opposite direction and that cost me. I had to think and thinking is what we're trying to avoid. Otherwise, same deal as before, just water the flowers as they pop up. And when the plot is filled, harvest them or move them. This will get you the 16 fey colored fey flowers. This next part will require some thought and I'm sorry about that. I tried to make it as easy as possible. We need to get normal colored fey flowers and fey colored normal flowers. Make six Tetris teas and load the color you want into the nubbin. Like red, white, yellow, uh, magenta, green, blue. Then load the type you want into the arms of the tea. Like here, I'm trying to get a yellow uh, trillium on the right, and over here, I'm trying to get a magenta tulip on the left. Do this for every color, but be symmetrical so you don't have to think too hard. Like if you're going for blue roses over here, go for red hyacinths over here. If you're going for green lilies over here, go for white zinnias over here. You want the flower of the type you want to appear in the middle of the tea, like this blue-red rose. Uh, if it's not the type you want, like this blue-red rose, uh, just pluck it out. Or, you know, just move it over to where it does belong. Now you have a decent chance of getting a blue rose here. If you want to double your chances, you can get rid of the original rose. Now you've got a chance for a blue rose here and a chance for a blue rose here. It doesn't take long before you're ready for this next bit. Grab your blue roses, your green lilies, your magenta tulips and put them over here in a diagonal line just like before. Just water the new plants as they pop up. And when the plot fills up, you can move or harvest them. This will eventually get you all the fey colored normal flowers. In this plot, you plant white zinnia, yellow trillium, red hyacinth, white zinnia. And you know the drill by now. Water, harvest, move. Do what you need to do. And that will get you the 16 normal colored fey flowers. Whatever you do, just keep the main diagonals and the middle line of the T's so that you can keep growing flowers forever and ever and ever and ever. Uh, eventually you'll get all of them. It won't happen in the first run, but eventually you get them all. You did it. You grew all 72 flowers. You didn't have to think that hard. And if you did it right, you only had to plant 20 seeds. Got a few other tips to mention. Uh, for example, it doesn't actually matter what order you put the flowers in, just as long as the ones on the end match. You can't move flowers in between farms. You could split this design right down the middle though if you wanted. Have one farm for normal flowers and one farm for fey flowers. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. If you have a string of bad luck breeding a certain type of flower, you can take the Tetris T and make it an H, like I did here to get the magenta zinnias, that quadruples your chance of getting the flower you want. If like me you have a double rainbow flower database, once you have it complete, you can harvest it and collect the flowers forever. 
uh, once they're picked, they will drop a seed of the same type. So you just have infinite flowers forever. I tried a lot of different patterns when I was trying to find the best way to breed flowers. I call this one the Bloomin' Centipede. Uh, it's really good at getting you very specific types of flowers that you want. Uh, it requires a lot more thought, so I didn't recommend it in this guide. But uh, if you got a lot of space, maybe consider this. What can you do with all these flowers? Well, you could get some new wings. You could also buy some new palettes. You could even use them to romance uh, Pyria. Pyria? Pyria? Maybe some other stuff. I don't know. Science doesn't concern itself with why. All I need is my double rainbow database and my wife Pyria. What's for dinner, honey? Gummy bears and buffalo chicken again? Sweetie, you're gonna get us dehydrated. If you wanna see my adventures in Fay Farm, check out my playlist here on the left. But YouTube thinks you'd be more interested in the video on the right. Either way, I think you should subscribe. I drop new videos every single day, and I'm bound to play something you like eventually.